everybody, this is Christina, the Amputee OT. In this video, I'm going to give you an update on my residual limb after I had a revision surgery. By the way, if you want a longer version of this video, you can become my patron on Patreon. Link is in the description. All right, so as you can see, it's been almost three weeks since I had my revision surgery and I no longer have any sutures or staples in my residual limb. So I'll show you a couple of pictures of my residual limb with the sutures and the staples in it. And then a picture of my residual limb with just the sutures in it. So as you can see, it's healed pretty well. It looks more or less somewhat the same as it was before my residual, before the surgery. Before I had my surgery, I had a scar that went to here and the surgeon had to open up my leg a little bit more down here in order to do the TMR. TMR is targeted muscle re -innervation. So what he did is he took this nerve here, which is the femoral nerve, and he attached it to some redundant motor nerves so that I will hopefully not have any phantom pain. And on this side, the my suture line used to end right here and it still ends exactly right there so he didn't really do a whole lot of changes. What I think is really interesting is the surgeon chose to use sutures and staples which I've never seen before and I tried to google sutures and staples to see why he did that and I couldn't really find anything. Um, so the sutures were Kind of cutting into my skin so that's what these long lines are these long lines are from the sutures and then these little short ones are from the staples and my femur ends about there the other thing he did was wrap this muscle around the end of my femur so kind of like this so that it covers the end of my femur so now even three weeks after my surgery i can move my leg all around like this and it, it does not hurt maybe a little bit sore uh, at the end here i can i can touch and massage and squeeze my residual limb with basically no pain except for that little bit of soreness in here the only time it's sort of painful is if i bend oh, oh if i bend over kind of far like this i get this tingling sensation right in here. It's not uh, really important for prosthetic use to be in that position, uh, but it is a definitely a nerve pain that's happening when I do that. What I'm doing right here is I'm extending my knee, flexing my knee, extending my knee, flexing the knee, extension and flexion. It's interesting that it's not an up and down motion anymore. It's like a back and forth motion. When I turn my hip, you can see my residual limb is moving now. Whereas in the last video, it really wasn't moving at all. The femur just moved inside the residual limb without any motion from the residual limb. And now when I turn it, since the surgeon attached the muscles to the bone, now it causes my skin to move. That will lead to greater control of my prosthesis because I will be able to do internal and external rotation which will lead to internal and external rotation of my foot which will provide me with more control of my prosthesis when I'm ready to wear it. Yay! Extension, flexion. Extension, flexion. Extension, flexion. Extension, flexion. External rotation, internal rotation. External rotation, internal rotation. These two marks here are the scars from my drains. I had two drains in there for like five days or something, so it's like a vampire bite. My tattoo kind of looks like a Photoshop now, like a weird Photoshop. <laughs> my leg looks like a whale. Oh, oh, it's so cute, the whale. It's so cute, the whale. Kind of sore right there. 
probably from me working out. Okay, I'm done. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. You can subscribe to follow my journey, and thanks for watching. Bye!